Hey, what up, decisive marketers? Imagine you are trying to climb a mountain right now and you are carrying baggage with you. How do you think you can move faster? One way for you would be to cast off that baggage that you, that you are carrying. When it comes to on when it comes to SEO, that baggage is called on page SEO. So if you have good on page SEO, you are carrying lighter baggage with you and you will then be able to move faster. All right. So to know about your SEO, sorry, your on-page SEO errors, you would then need to do a SEO audit. And today, that's what this tool is about. It does an SEO audit for you and it also uh, does rank tracking for you so you know where you are at as you are climbing that mountain of SERP results, right? So, bef and today's tool is called Scrapey. Now, before we dive into Scrapey, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content, All right? So, let's dive in into Scrapey. So, this is the dashboard. So, you can see that one thing about Scrapey is that they've got a very nice looking uh, user interface, right? So, uh, I have done a review of a different tool called Labrica before in my uh, YouTube channel. So if you want to check that out, go ahead. And uh, one thing about uh, Labrica is that it doesn't have a nice uh, user interface and the amount of information can sometimes overwhelm a newbie, right? So here we are in uh, one of my projects here. Okay, so I'm going to click, sorry, I'm going to click into it, go to project. I've already done an analysis of the uh, of the page of the website itself, okay. And this is what uh, the results show me. And one thing really great about Scrapey is how uh, you know how easy it is for them to tell you what is going on and how to s resolve those issues on your website. So here we have right. So I have a you know a. A SEO score of 65%, my page speed is 43% and uh, there's no SERP uh, information right now because I've, I have not uh, keyed in any um, uh, keywords for them to track itself and it checks my SSL, my domain, right, my Alexa, global rank and these are the issues that they have come, uh, they have uh, found out, right, so the first one would be for example, the description, right? So the meta description itself, and it says that the meta description tag is missing, right? So, uh, and this is a critical issue. So you want to resolve this as soon as possible. So this, the cool thing about Scrapey is that they actually explain to you what is wrong with your website. So over here we have uh, image lazy load. So this one, uh, you know, it tells you what is lazy load right so you want to uh you know it helps you to defer off screen images so when you are not uh on when uh, when you are scrolling through the site and you are actually not uh at the bottom yet where there are some images right there uh with the uh lazy loading it doesn't show it so it kind of explains to you every single issue that you have so for example text compression right so that's why it tells you, right, you know, uh, some of these issues and you can actually uh, open it up and they tell you, right, they actually have an article that actually tells you how to resolve the issues itself. So that's really nice about Scrapey, right, when if you go, uh, if you make use of uh, other tools such as Labrica for your SEO audit, they don't actually tell you the issue that you have. Right, they actually tell you your DOM size, right, and uh, and and all these uh, issues right here, okay, and uh, tell you your page speed, okay, and your keyword rankings and uh, all the <coughs> all the issues that you have, right here, right, right. Uh, what are the high priority tasks? What are the uh, normal priority tasks? What are the low priority tasks? Okay. So you can uh, go into your, so these are all the tasks in here, right? So wherever they analyze certain issues, they create a task board for you to resolve them uh, one by one, 
right so then the next one will be your on-page SEO issues right so they tell you that okay you have H2, H3, H4 but no H1 uh, keywords okay so these are some of the keywords that are appearing on your website and uh, let's say images you got 55 images right canonical URL okay so they actually tell you all the you know the the issues that you have on your website and the next one is uh, pitch speed score okay so they actually analyze your pitch speed score for you and then you've got your SERP results so this is where you enter the keyword so I actually entered one but it's taking some time for them to track that keyword and then your overall SEO score right so this is some of the issues that you have and all you need to do as I uh, showed earlier is just to click in and they will actually tell you you know what the issue it uh, is itself so that you can fix it okay and these are the uh, SEO issues on your website and they even check your uptime as well right so they even check your uptime as well so this is something that is actually not provided by let's say uh, Lebrica, right so you only does your on-page SEO and does some keyword rank checking for you but it doesn't actually check your uptime for you right so your uptime of your website is important am I right so the next thing is uh, these are the settings right here right so your you know whether you want to enable some of these different uh, features on your website okay and pretty much that's all for Scrapey, right? I think it's a it's a, a a very nice tool itself. Okay, and what I feel about Scrapey is that it is a uh, it is great for beginners, right? Uh, one thing that they 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 don't check is that they they, they actually don't check a lot of uh, more in depth issues of your website. Uh, you know, such as any um, for example, your TFIDF, uh, you know, Scrapey doesn't check that. Your, uh, you know, they, they've got a lot of other uh, more in-depth is uh, issues that, that Scrapey doesn't check right now. Right, I wouldn't, be, uh, I, I got to do an in-depth comparison to be able to tell the difference between the, you know, Scrapey and with, uh, with the uh, Labrica. So, for example, Labrica does check for your, uh, you know, un uh, you know, unused HTML text on your website. Uh, it checks for any vulgar words on your website, any duplicated content on your website. So these are certain things that Scrapey does not check for, right? So uh, I would say that Scrapey is great for a beginner because when if you are a pure beginner and you try to make use of uh, Labrica you kind of get lost there because it doesn't show you much uh, it doesn't actually tell you what to do with these problems that you have on your website so with Scrapey however it makes things a lot easier for you to resolve those problems by actually you know guiding you the tr through the process on how to fix those problems uh, with your website right and pretty much that's all i have in this video uh if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up if you have any questions with regards to scrapey do comment below and lastly if you know anyone who can benefit from a seo audit and uptime monitoring tool please share this video with them and i'll see you in my next video